Stephen Thomas Wales Online joins us. You wrote the piece on Gatland, and thank you for your time. How long uh, is this going to take? Is it all a uh, done and dusted? How long between um, the announcement being made and the decision actioned? Uh, I think I'd be expecting a decision within the next week. Um, you know, the, the Fox of the Masters are, Masters are, I mean, Wayne Pivak has only won three games in, in 12 this season. Um, or this calendar year, you know, that, that that's unacceptable from a Welsh perspective. Lost at home to, to Italy for the first time ever and lost the first ever test to, to Georgia at home in Cardiff. Um, and when you compare that to the Gatland era, they won, um, I think it was three Grand Slams in the championship. You know, it, it's chalk and cheese. Um, so effectively, um, a subcommittee of the Welsh Rugby Union board met last week to discuss uh, a potential contingency plan to take Wales to the World Cup. There were numerous names mentioned, but um, the one guy that um, they, they all want, uh, the number one target is, is Warren Gatland. And if they can uh, agree terms, then um, I'd expect that to, um, to get finalised over the next 10 days or so. No word from the Chiefs here as to whether or not you know they'd let him go. I mean, I, I can't imagine anyone standing in his way. What do you know about that, though? Is it easy for him to get out of his New Zealand deals? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not privy to, to Warren Gatlin's contracts, but what I do know is that um, Warren Gatlin, obviously, and um, you guys know this better than me. Obviously, it, it didn't go, it hasn't gone that well for him at the Chiefs. Obviously, lost um, every game in Super Rugby a couple of years back. Um, he's, he's in an upstairs job now, and there's always been this sense in the Northern Hemisphere that the Gatlin's perhaps better suited to rugby in this part of the world than he is is in the Southern Hemisphere in terms of his style of rugby, but. So I think Gatlin would probably be a, a good fit for Wales in the short term because of, um, you know, he's coached them before, he knows the players. But in terms of your, your actual question, that's that's the, the, the big talking point in Wales. So my understanding is that for the Welsh Rugby Union to get rid of Wayne Pivak and to bring Warren Gatlin in, obviously you would imagine they'd have to uh, pay the Chiefs a transfer fee and then Gatlin, or even if it's not Gatlin, whoever they choose as head coach would want... Um, Know, to bring their own backroom team in potentially um, I understand it will cost them about a million pounds give or take so um, you know money is, is the issue but um, from a Welsh point of view I don't know how much you know about Welsh rugby but the, the main um, uh, money maker in Welsh rugby is the national team and if the national team is struggling and less people turn up to games and there's less prize money from the Six Nations and in the long run the, the World Cup then they're, they're going to suffer and the um, the feeling is that um, you know the national side has been uh, on a downward spiral under Wayne Pivak, and that um, it needs um, it needs Warren Gatlin to save it. Stephen Thomas, rugby correspondent, Wales Online, with us. How easy is it to get rid of Pivak, and how easy how, how how easy would he go? I mean, would he stick his toes to the ground, or would he would he you know, demand that he sees out his contract, or is, or or, is, or or those kind of decisions taken out of his hands if the if the Welsh Rugby Board decide that hey, it's time. Uh, so Wayne, Wayne Pivot's contract runs out at, at the end of the Rugby World Cup. Um, to answer your question, I think the decision would be taken out of his hands. Now Wayne, you know, is he's a he's a man of honour. He's, he's excellent with the press. Whenever he's been asked um, <clears throat> questions regarding his future, he's always answered the questions very um, as honestly as he can. And, and the the answers, <clears throat> excuse me, the answers always been um, that. That decision is out of my hands, but Wayne, Wayne Pivak has made it clear he'd like to take Wales to the World Cup. He truly does believe, you know, and he is a good coach. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, he had success with the Scarlet, the Welsh club side, won won the Pro 12 there, took him to European semi final, and he has won the Six Nations with Wales. So he does believe, and the first ever test in South Africa against the Springboks. So he does believe that he can turn things around. He generally does believe that, and he would like the opportunity to do that. That's the impression we get, but. The, the problem is um, we've been very inconsistent under Wayne Pivak. He doesn't seem to... He's never set as on a starting team. He's given new caps out like confetti, effectively. Um, he's never really settled on a style of play. He came in and he promised that they'd play this expansive, almost super rugby style of rugby. Ne- never never turned out that way. Um, and it's just very difficult to see how, how Wayne Pivak can turn this around for Wales. So... Um, I think he'd like to stay, but I think this decision is out of his hands. And if, if the WIA want Gatland and, and they agree terms, then um, they, they'll pay Wayne Pivak off. It's, um, it's very difficult at the moment to see Pivak taking wheels to the World Cup. And as you said earlier, just uh, what a decision expected within the next week or so. 
you, you'd expect that you'd expect that to be the case yeah i mean obviously with these things con, con, contractual situations you know it's often how long a case how long is a piece of string but you know they, they really need to to get this done and one one key point that i haven't mentioned was wayne pivak was supposed to fly to france with the welsh rugby union with certain welsh rugby union members on um sunday in order to to look around you know um ho- potential hotels and training um uh, training grounds etc where wales would base themselves for the world cup well the welsh rugby union have pulled wayne pivak out of that which obviously isn't a good sign and uh, as i said i think the the um feeling is that they need to make a decisive decision and they need to make it quickly whether it's Warren Gatland or somebody else taking over from Wayne Pivak but I think it, it does look like um, they've decided that um, Pivak may not be the right choice to, to take them to France Awesome, thank you so much for that, appreciate your time enormously mate, brilliant Brilliant, thanks for the invite The two minutes Drill Thank you very much. That was um, Stephen Thomas from Wales Online. Sounds as though Warren Gatlin is going to be back in the Welsh coaching job. What it means for the Chiefs, we don't know. 